What do you do when a beautiful young woman turns up to your doorstep to reorganize your career? Hi, I'm Jenny. Come on in. Remind me what you do again. I'm the research assistant. You've heard of Garfield? The cat or the president? <laughs> That's very good. Being in a room with the Richard Todd, I'm a huge admirer of yours. Jenny thought she was in control. You were behind on this new book, and he also wants me to tidy up the book you just finished. So, Garfield was the second president after Lincoln to be assassinated, right? Right. Why do you think we chose shot the president? Nobody knows. Not really. Okay, so I'll call you. Call me. Will you go to your room? I want to talk to your father. People thought Richard Todd had everything. But when you've got everything, you've got a lot to lose. Is it true? Yes. I'm in love with her. You what? Have you any idea of the consequences of this? I know. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Well, that's all right then. Richard is sorry. What do you want me to say? If this is one of your romantic notions, you better stop and think. It all happened around me, Val. I didn't have a say, did I? Well, pardon me for bringing a sense of reality to your beautiful dream. This marriage is your project. Only because you're too much of a child to take responsibility. What pictures we hang, what perennials we put in the garden, and toilet paper we use. Only because that you can't want your own arse. Now, have you any idea how difficult it is to manage you, the great author? Well, I'm not going along with this epic. Let's see how your new little piece of fluff can cope with the wonderful world of Richard Todd. Sometimes it's hard to listen to what you don't want to hear. Valerie thought she knew her husband, but how well can you know someone who lives inside their own head? Life and trial of Charles Guiteau. Oh, there's something missing. And if the assassin is not responsible for the murder of the president, who is? He never did have anything against Garfield, you know. What? He was a gentleman. Why did you kill him? I didn't kill him. You shot him in the Baltimore Potomac train station. I wasn't alone, you fool. You acted alone, you murdering bastard. And just when you think you might be losing your mind, you do. The Garfield Conspiracy by Owen Dwyer. Available now from Liberty's Press and all good bookshops. The Garfield Conspiracy by Owen Dwyer. Never did have anything against Garfield, you know.